Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from the epistle of 2 John, verse 9, and the word of God reads this way. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. This second epistle of John is speaking directly about obeying God's commandments. At the beginning of this epistle, it's addressed to the elect lady and her children. Now, I know a lot of Bible scholars think that this is a metaphor for a particular church and a congregation, but I think we should just take this greeting at face value. I think the Apostle John was writing directly to a lady and her children, and he was speaking to her about abiding in the doctrines of the faith. And it was really important because there was Gnosticism going on near the end of the first century. And this particular lady and her children may have been exposed to false teachers. That's why verses 7 through 11 in this short epistle concentrates on false teachers. And in this particular verse, it says, whosoever, and that's whichever person, transgresseth. Now, that word in the Greek means to violate a command. And what the Apostle John is saying, there are false teachers, they are violating the commands of God. That's why it says, whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. And that word abideth is a really serious word. It means to um, endure, to stand, to continue in. It means you're not only accepting it at face value, but you're continuing in it all the time. So you're, you're to abide in the doctrine. And he says, whoever abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. And it's important because it says the doctrine of Christ. There are many people, particularly false teachers, that will say, oh yeah, I trusted the Lord Jesus Christ. I know Jesus. Well, that's just lip service. Do they abide in the doctrine of Christ? And the doctrine of Christ is everything Christ said in the Gospels and all the doctrines of the apostles in the New Testament. So it's not just giving lip service to Jesus Christ. It's following the doctrines. Because if they don't abide in that doctrine, if they're not following sound doctrine, according to John, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, it says they don't have God. It means they're unsaved. They're false teachers continually saying false things, and it has nothing to do with sound doctrine. But the second part of the verse says, He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ. Now we have the flip side of it. A person who abides in the doctrine of Christ, it says, He hath both the Father and the Son. And what I like about the end of this verse is at the beginning, it says, if they don't abide in the doctrine, they don't have God. Now at the end of this verse, John is telling you who God is. It's both the Father and the Son. So it's, it's basically kind of telling you, you have God, but I'm going to be specific, you have God the Father and God the Son, and though it's not mentioned, you have the indwelling Holy Spirit as well. Dear Christian, this verse in 2 John is a reminder that we need to watch out for false doctrine. We need to watch out for false teachers because they can give lip service to knowing Jesus Christ. But guess what? They're not following sound doctrine. They're not abiding in the doctrine of Christ. And that's how we know they're false. We should check everything against scripture. We should check everything they say and do against the word of God. And if they're not following that, then they're false teachers and we need to call them out. And that's why John was writing to this elect lady and her children to warn them. Yes, there's people that might show up at your house that are false teachers. That's why the next verse says, if anybody comes into your house and brings that doctrine, it says, don't receive them or even bid them Godspeed. That's how serious this is. So we have to remember something. This applied to the person John was writing to back then, and it applies to us today. So this is 2 John, verse 9. Just wanted to do a quick look.
to encourage you, Christian, that you need to abide in the doctrine of Christ. If you're a Christian, if you have the indwelling Holy Spirit and the truth of God's word, you will consistently do that. Even in your sanctification, as you're learning scripture, you will abide in the doctrine of Christ. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and have I, uh, edified you, excuse me, in any way, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, remember, we want to abide in the doctrine of Christ. We want to follow his commandments. We want to do it consistently. And we want to watch out for those that aren't doing that. That was important in the early church. It's been important during the centuries. And it is still important now. And we must get into the word of God and follow the doctrine of Christ. That is a sign that you're a true believer. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.